Welcome back. Um, this is Thrawn from Thrawn Gaming again. Um, and today I thought I'd go Good into something luck, a little bit master. different. Um, I would go, I thought I would go into um, the toggle anchors. What are toggle anchors used for? Well, as the, as the uh, tooltip said, it unlocks various elements of the UI to be uh, repositioned. Uh, so in other words, you can go in and move all of your elements. I'm not going to go in depth on how to pick up and move each one. It's all the same, depending on what you want to do with it. Um, but the, the basic elements of this are each of the elements that you see outlined in green. In my case, it'll be green. It'll be whatever color you set um, can be picked up and moved. So let's say I want to pull this micro bar. All I can do is just pick it up, move it down, and there we go. Anything that is overlapped here will be overlapped on your UI. Um, so I normally put all of the, the stuff that I don't use in RAID or very frequently, I usually put that up here. Don't want talking heads. I don't want my stance bar. I don't use a stance bar on my healer. but um, if I have a ticket in, it'll show up here. My battle tag friends frame will show up here. And this is my vehicle frame. On the right hand side, I put my mini map. And here are my buffs and debuffs, and you can actually move them around where you want to put them. Um, so, how do we move them besides just click and drag? Well, this is your, your main frame right here, and you can select what you want to look at. So when you're doing solo content, that's what you're going to see. Okay. If you're in a party, let's say doing dungeons or something, this is what you're going to see. And you can reposition it. Um, and then if you were in a, an arena, this is what you're going to see. So if I were to do PvP, maybe I want to pick this up and move it over here. But remember, these are party frames, and by party frames, it means any party you're in, whether it's in an arena. So maybe you want to make a PvP arena profile and pick and move your party frames up here, and then move your, your player frame and target frame up here along with your focus frame. Maybe you want to do that. Um, or... If you want to look at just your action bars, and there we go, there's my action bars, and that shows me exactly where all of them are. And you can play with that and move that around a little bit. Um, just remember, anything that you see can be picked up and moved. Let's say, for example, you only want to move this uh, loss of control icon just a little bit. You like where it is, but you know you need to adjust it just a little bit. So let's move it up. And all you do is hit the nudge button just once or twice, and that's it. And it's moved. Um, you can actually type in where you want this. So, for example, I want to move this to 330. And then I hit enter, and it moved it to 330. Um, and then the same thing with all of the rest of your pet frames, party frames, um, main tank frame, pet frame if you use it. Um, your objective frame, you can actually pick this up and move it where you want it. There's not a whole lot to this, okay? It's whatever you want to move and however you want it to look, you can actually do that. Now, one additional thing, you have sticky frames. Sticky frames, what that does is that will help you line things up. So notice it's sitting right, it sticks right here for me. Yes, I can move it past it, but initially it only it sticks your lot your your frames together, and then you can nudge it the way you want it after that. So let's go ahead and move this right back to where I had it. So I'm going to put it right here. The other thing is the lines that you see on the screen right now are to assist you in lining things up. The red line indicates a center line. Okay, and then the rest of the lines are set up a little bit different so that you can um, line them up how you want them. Um, and really, that's all there is to it. 
you adjust the frames how you want um, and you can move them up or down. You can nudge them one pixel at a time with the nudge window. You can hit reset and reset the entire thing. Um, you can set your sticky frames um, and you can adjust your grid size if you want. So let's say I want to adjust my grid size to 60. That's 60 pixels. There you go. Maybe I want to adjust the grid size to 50. Or maybe I want to adjust it to 30. There you go. And it depends on, let's try a 25. That gives me a nice set of squares right there. Okay. Um, just remember that when you do this, it does adjust all of the rest of the lines for you. Um, I'm thinking 50 was probably the better one. Oops, didn't hit. Didn't select it. So there we go. There's 50. Okay. Now, this button right here will lock your frames for you. Okay. Once you hit lock, it takes you out. Go back in. You just hit toggle. If you want to reset your anchors, all you do is hit this button right here. And it will reset everything for you. And that's all there is to your anchors. Um, if there's anything that you saw that I missed, um, put it in the description below. Description below, and I'll try to um, I'll try to answer your question. Um, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and su subscribe, and I'll see you the next time.